Hey everyone, it's Jeff Haynes with Tech Bargains, and today I'm going to show you HBO Go. It's a free app that was launched by the cable network on April 29th for the iPad, iPod Touch, iPhone, and Android, and it's designed to complement the website of the same name, which offers television shows and movies on demand. Now, unlike other apps, HBO Go is restricted for HBO subscribers. And the first time that you launch the program, it will ask you to uh, have your service information for one of eight different cable providers from around the U.S. That includes everything from AT&T U-verse to Comcast Xfinity and other regional areas. But once you've entered your info and it's verified that you're an HBO subscriber, you never have to enter this info again unless you change service providers. From there, you wind up registering an HBO Go ID and password, which gives you access to parental controls, provides you with a newsletter, and other functions. Every time that you wind up launching HBO Go, you're taken to this animated splash screen, which showcases you know, different clips and, and shows a lot of the movies, shows, and specials that are being uh, featured for the month. Uh, as you can see, you, some of these will animate in some of the windows, which is a really nice touch that kind of indicates how deep the content is for this app. HBO claims that there's more than 1,400 episodes and movies that are shown and rotated through the app on a monthly basis. And just by browsing through some of the tabs, this isn't hyperbole. There really is a ton of content available right here. There's tons of movies, as you can just imagine, that are available on demand, which you can scroll through index-wise just by going up and down through the indexes, checking out some of the collections that are featured on a monthly basis, or, you know, just accessing some of the genres just to figure out what you might be interested in watching at that point in time. You can even pull up a lot of HBO's uh, acclaimed series that they've done. So if you happen to be a Sopranos fan like me, and let's say you want to watch something from season three, you hit that button, instantly you get access to every single episode of every single season that was ever shown, and then you know you can pick like season three and boom, every single season and every single episode you can just automatically select from right there. Really, really nice. Even once you uh, move out of stuff like that, you can te check out uh, some of the family series. So, you know, you've got a lot of the animated cartoons, the fairy tales, things like that. You have comedy specials, including a lot of the uh, featured ones for this month, HBO Comedy Hours. Uh, you've got movies. You've got some of the sporting events, including a lot of the boxing or the real sports with Brian Gumble. You've got HBO's award-winning documentaries. And for adults, you've even got a late night tab which showcases some mature content. Uh, now you can easily restrict access to mature content or violence by using HBO Go's included parental controls that I mentioned earlier. Regardless of whether you choose to watch a uh, movie or a television show, one of the things that you wind up uh, accessing whenever you select something is a basic information page. Every single item has this, and what winds up popping up is basic uh, details that have a description of, of the movie or the show, along with its runtime and its rating, and how long it's available on HBO Go itself. Now, you can immediately play this movie within this small window, which can be blown up, of course, or you can get a preview, and the preview will show you uh, one of two different things. If it's a movie, it'll pull up the theatrical trailer that you'd see in, in movie theaters. If it's a television show or something that's kind of originally shown on HBO, you'll get the commercial promos that are frequently run on the networks themselves. You can also get additional info, or you can add it to your watch list, and I'll go into a little bit more details on that. Uh, so let me pull up the More Info page, which actually is a larger splash screen that gives you a larger description of the movie itself. It gives you cast and crew information, as well as uh, for certain movies or shows, some uh, soundtrack info, sometimes some trivia, and even uh, different other items like uh, interviews, behind the scenes clips, or making of features, a lot of the ones that are kind of commissioned by HBO that frequently make their way onto DVDs. For television shows, you'll frequently wind up getting a lineup of uh, the next episodes of a particular season and kind of uh, a lot of the behind the scenes things of, of, of that nature. What's also really nice about this additional splash screen is that if you don't want to watch uh, this movie on a phone, a tablet, or a laptop, and you want to see it on a larger screen, it will even give you information as to the next time that this movie or TV show will be airing on the network. So you can easily uh, set up your DVR and make sure that you're ready to watch it then, or how long it'll be accessible on demand. So you can easily uh, check it out on your, on your TV. 
Now, uh, if you wind up going through some of the indexes, TV or movies, and you find something that's somewhat appealing to you, you can easily add it uh, to your watch list. So let me uh, pull up something really quick. Let's say I wanted to watch uh, Elizabeth the Golden Age. All I do is I hit this and it's immediately added to my watch list. This watch list is always accessible at the top left uh, corner of the screen and what happens is it'll pull up a list of all of the things that I'm somewhat interested in seeing at some point in time. Uh, it's a great way of saving time from having to constantly browse your way through all of the indexes that HBO Go offers. Plus, if you happen to have current shows that you're interested in watching uh, that are airing on, on uh, HBO, you can get a season pass and have it automatically add the latest episodes to your watch list so you don't have to constantly go searching through the indexes as well. As you can see, I've got the current episode of Treme already synced up to my watch list, so it's, it's already delivered and waiting for me to go whenever I want to see it. Now, when you choose to watch something, and I'll just launch Gattaca as a quick example, uh, it will play a quick HBO Go splash, and then it will optimize the quality, caching uh, the, the movie itself or the TV show, based on the network connection that you happen to have. Uh, but what you can see, just by looking at the playback of the video, is that it's actually really good. There's very little artifacts or, or issues or noise that you might see during the playback of the movie. Uh, what's also really nice is that if you happen to be interrupted in any way, the app saves your place and immediately allows you to jump right back into the content of what you were watching without being subjected to any commercials or significant breaks in, in, in uh, playing back the movie. It's really nice because you don't have to deal with that whenever you're watching something on one of the networks, so it's nice to see that that didn't carry over to the app itself. Uh, what's even better is that if your 3G signal or the wireless connection is too weak to play video at a consistent clip, the app will keep playing the audio stream of whatever it is that you're watching until the signal gets better, at which point it will resync the video. You can then access the timeline at the top of the screen and scrub your way back or forward to wherever it was that you were actually watching just to catch up on whatever it was that you happened to miss. Now, with all of these advantages, there's still a couple of uh, hiccups or issues that prevent this from being the perfect app of, of watching media. For one thing, as I mentioned, you are provided with this watch list for movies and shows, but unfortunately there's no wish list to help you keep an eye out for movies or shows that, are, that aren't being offered for that month. For example, let's take a look at uh, the Harry Potter films. Let's say that you're interested in watching uh, Harry Potter. As you can see right now, the only thing that's being offered is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, but that's also about to expire on May 15th. Now. You can't set up anything to alert you that new Harry Potter movies are being added to HBO Go or that this is going to expire, which means that you have to constantly keep checking the indexes at the beginning and the middle of each month just to make sure that you don't miss anything or you know that you, something new has been added and you might actually want to check that out. The other issue which kind of plays off of this uh, sequence a little bit is that uh, it doesn't have every single television show. Now if you happen to be a, a longtime HBO subscriber, uh, you might be aware that they've created a ton of original content. But if you happen to be a fan of certain shows, you might have to keep your fingers crossed that they'll be added at some point. Things like The Ali G Show, Tenacious D, Chris Rock Show, Spawn, and a lot of other HBO shows haven't been added. So there's no idea as to when they might be included or might not be included. Plus, you might see a couple of anomalies here or there. For instance, if I go to a Real Time with Bill Maher, one of the things that you'll notice is that it only offers the last five episodes of this show. And Real Time has been on HBO for a long time, but you can't get any of the older seasons to see how the uh, show has progressed. And you can't actually even get the older episodes from this current season right now. The only thing that you can do is add a series pass to make sure that you get the latest episodes as they wind up hitting the air. Now even with all of these issues, this is still an incredible app that showcases a ton of content at your fingertips. And if you happen to be a movie or HBO television show fan of any kind, you have thousands of hours waiting for you with HBO Go with a lot more added every single month. For these reasons, we decided to give HBO Go a 4.5 out of 5. Now, If you like this app review and you want to get more like it, 
Make sure that you check out our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash tech bargains and subscribe. Make sure that you also sign up for email alerts so that you're notified whenever we post a new app review, unboxing, or video review of products. Thanks a lot.